Hello, I'm Alistair Stevenson, and today I'm going to show you a few nifty tricks on the BlackBerry Z10. Now, the BlackBerry Z10 is the first ever smartphone to run on BlackBerry 10, a new gesture-based operating system from the Canadian firm. But, given the fact that it is new and a bit fringe, use at the, fringe used at the moment, you might be forgiven for not knowing all the tricks. Now, the first one is done from the lock screen, which you can see here. Now, I don't know if you know it, but by pulling down from the top bezel, you can actually get a shortcut to the alarm and clock app which is pretty useful if you need to quickly set a, a, an alert before you go to bed or something like that. Now, opening it up, another nifty one we're going to show you is how to take a screen grab, something that's always good. Now, this is done by simultaneous, simultaneously pressing both volume keys, which are located here and here, which when you do it here, hold it for a few seconds and you'll hear the click. Now that will be stored in the Photo Album Hub, which you can access just by going into the camera app or by using the dedicated shortcut. Now, another one we're going to show you, which links to one of the BlackBerry 10's most interesting services, is how to get straight to the hub from any app or any screen, which is done by pulling up from the bottom bezel and then right, like in this inverted L shape, which brings you straight to the hub and all the different notifications you have there. This can be done in-app, which is a great way to quickly read any emails. It can also be done to, as a shortcut to get a quick peek when you're inside another media set. Now, another one that's quite cool is how to get the, the keyboard up from any angle, which is done by just pulling up with two fingers. As you can see, it brings it up, and you can also do this to get rid of it. Now, another good feat service for the BlackBerry Hub is if it ever stalls, you can actually forcibly restart it by swiping from the bottom corner down to the center five times. So, one, two, three, four. Five. As you can see, it restarts the hub, meaning that if it jams, you can get it supposed to be restarted without having to turn off the phone, which is a good thing considering how long it takes to power up. Now, the final trick we're going to show you is how to get voice control working. Getting voice control up is done simply by pressing and holding down on the mute key, which is located between the volume, the two volume controls. Now, when in here, you can do all sorts of things. Like us, tell it to set up an email or get a calendar invite made. Those are the tips and tricks we're sharing today. If you have any others and you'd like to share, put them in the discuss comments section below. I'm Alistair Stevenson. Thanks for watching.